Today, while we do what we do, while we are the Los Angeles Rams, let's go. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Oh. Think about all the hard work you put in to get to this point. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Even the tennis. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Live Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Isaiah, and y'all, Rand Carthon has done it again as the Tennessee Titans are trading for linebacker Ernest Jones from the Los Angeles Rams. And wow, y'all, I mean, I cannot believe Rand Carthon has been able to make this many additions to this team, but particularly to this defense, y'all. I mean, you look at this, the players that he's brought to this defense, Sebastian Joseph Day, to Andre Sweat, Ernest Jones now, Kenneth Murray, LeJarius Nee, Cheeto Bayouze, Quandre D. Jamal Adams, and then obviously Denard Wilson, who will be our new defensive coordinator this season. And y'all, you look at Ernest Jones. Ernest Jones is one of the best young linebackers in the league. He's coming off his best season, y'all. Last season, he had 145 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, four and a half sacks. He had an 82.1 uh, pro football focus grade and a 90 uh, run defense grade. I mean, I'm really surprised, y'all, that the Rams were so willing uh, to give him up, considering that he was probably the best player on that defense, especially now that uh, Aaron Donald has retired. I would say uh, Ernest Jones was the best player on that defense. Obviously, they have some really nice, young, intriguing players, you know, uh, Byron Young, and they drafted Brady Fisk and Jared Verge, but I would still say, y'all, Ernest Jones was the best player on that defense, and normally teams are, are not willing to part ways with really good players that are super young, y'all. I mean, again, like I said, Ernest Jones is only 24 years old. He's coming off his best season, y'all, and why I really love this trade is because he fits exactly with what Denard Wilson wants to do, y'all. RDC Denard Wilson, what does he want to do? He wants to get after the quarterback. He wants to blitz down there every single play, right? And he wants his players to just be so aggressive and so physical. And that is exactly what uh, Ernest Jones embodies. I mean, last season, he led all linebackers with 30 quarterback pressures. Let me repeat. Last season, y'all, Ernest Jones led all linebackers with 30 quarterback pressures. I mean, which is insane. Like, think about that. It is insane that Ernest Jones, a player that I feel like he's very underrated. I don't feel like people talk about him a lot. He's the one that led all linebackers in quarterback pressure. So, this is an amazing trade uh, by Rand Carthen. Y'all continue to add to this defense, especially at the linebacker spot, which, let's be honest, the linebacker spot was still a weakness for us. I know we obviously we saw Kenny Murray Jr. Y'all, Kenny Murray, he's really become a leader on this defense. I mean, he was leading the team, you know, in the pregame warm-up during the preseason. So, I thought that was really interesting to see a guy that we literally just saw back in March, and he's already becoming one of the leaders of this entire team. Not just his defense, but he's already becoming a leader, one of the leaders, excuse me, on the, of this entire team so you love to see that now and now y'all we have I mean, probably one of the most athletic linebacker groups uh, in the NFL. We're talking about having Ernest Jones at the one linebacker spot and then Kendrick Murray Jr. at the other linebacker spot. And again, both of those guys embody, y'all, what Denard Wilson wants to do on defense. I mean, those guys are just so fast, so athletic. They're aggressive. They love getting in the backfield. They love flying around from sideline to sideline. And so now, y'all, when I look at this defense, I mean, we should have probably a top 10 to 12 defense. I mean, even last season, we had a middle of the pack defense, and that was what I was us having like a true lockdown corner we had you know just okay linebacker play outside of Aziz Alshire um and we had you know just solid safety play outside of Amani Hooker but now y'all I mean we have a lockdown corner in LeJay Sneed a really good number two corner in Cheeto Bay Awuze we got two really solid young linebackers and Ernest Jones and Kendrick Murray Jr and then y'all know on that D-line man we got big Jeff Simmons and now we got big Terondre Sweat coming up that middle we still got Harold Landry Arden and Key Jalen Hill our seven round draft group Pick, who's really been uh, performing extremely well at training camp and during the preseason. So, y'all, when you look at this defense now, we should be a unit that should cause a lot of problems for opposing offenses. Because even last season, like I just said, even though we didn't have, you know, a terrible defense, y'all, our defense was just so soft. I mean, this year, these guys are going to be so aggressive. They're not going to be afraid to talk their trash. And we just got those dogs on our team. Now, that's what we were really missing. Like, even the last few years on our defense in particular, we were missing those dogs. We were missing guys that were unafraid to just really be themselves and show their personality. And now we have that, y'all. So I'm so excited. This is, again, great trade by Rand Carter, y'all. I mean, my man Rand is cooking. 
when you look at the way he has completely transformed this team, y'all, since he took over last year as a GM, I mean, it's incredible. When he took over last year, y'all, as our general manager, I mean, look at the team. This team was in shambles, right? Christian Fulton was our number one corner. Traylon Burks was our number one wide receiver. We still had Ryan Chandler and Derrick Henry, two Asian players. And now all of a sudden, y'all, you look at this team, we got a good mix of young players and veteran players. And we got bona fide stars in Tennessee. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins, Tony Pollard on defense, y'all. Again, Cheeto Bay Awuze, LeJarrius Sneed, Quandre Diggs. Right, these are guys that have proven themselves to be really good NFL players. And now they are a part of this organization, y'all, called the Tennessee Titans. As we try to get back to the playoffs, and we try to reclaim our glory days. And with this trade acquiring Ernest Jones, y'all, it's definitely going to make life a whole lot easier for us. Again, this defense is going to be an aggressive unit. Last year, y'all, we only had six turnovers as a defense. Okay, that's really low. Really low. This year, I'm expecting us to probably have somewhere between 15 to 20 uh, forced turnovers. So I cannot wait to see what this defense does, y'all. But again, great, great, great trade by Wayne Carthon. This was a position of need. And you're getting a player, y'all, Ernest Jones. Why, yes, he is in the last year of his contract, and we're going to have to extend him. I think Wayne Carthon is not going to have any problem doing this because he's only 24 years old. He's one of the best young linebackers in the league, y'all. And I think his best football is still ahead of him. So there y'all have it. That was another episode of the Zayn Live Sports Podcast. Remember, y'all, laugh is good medicine. So what? Make sure you get your daily dose. Y'all know I'm in the man. I love y'all. God bless. Puh, 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 peace.